Hey everybody, it is December 9th of 2025, and the RAM crisis, the memory crisis, the shortage is still ongoing due to AI data centers, and I wanted to catch you up on the latest news related to this. Increased pricing is coming to consumer laptops, and I have an article here from a website called TrendForce, so let's go ahead and take a look at that. So this just came out a couple days ago. It's a report from TrendForce about how pricing is going to go up for consumer laptops based on what some, uh, some insider information on some PC laptop manufacturers. So scrolling down for the Trend Force article here, uh, the most important part is this chart here, and uh, I will minimize myself a little bit to uh, give you the full view there. So as you can see, we got Lenovo, we got Dell, and we got HP here, and there are some prospective price increases that are coming. The most uh, mo notable one here is Dell saying a potential price increase of at least 15 to 20 percent. Uh, that could be coming from mid-December, which this is December 9th, so uh, not very long from now. We could be seeing some rather large price increases from Dell due to RAM shortages. Now you see with Lenovo and HP, it looks like they're going to try to hold off to 2026, and they are really not saying, uh, there's no insider information even about what those price increases might be. Uh, as you can see, market-based for Lenovo and HP says vary by case, country, and category. This is basically you know, a way of saying that these companies actually have no idea what the memory prices are going to be like by the time you get into 2026 and when they start to put out their new products. Now, uh, that also uh, brings up a point. You might be wondering, why are we going to see those price increases then? And uh, just to make that very clear, the reason for that is that we, we have a pretty firm cycle, pretty set cycle in consumer electronics, especially as it comes to uh, PC laptops. You generally see announcements for new chips and SOCs from like Intel and Qualcomm in the latter half of a year, if there are going to be anything major, and, and AMD, of course. And in fact, that's what we saw uh, this year. We did see some new announcements. And then at CES 2026 is when, especially for the North American market, you start to see those announcements come into actual laptops that are going to be shipping uh, to retailers. Uh, usually it's within a few months, although sometimes those announcements uh, go into the summer of 20 of uh, the next year, which would be the summer of 2026. So at this point, you know, going back to the article, these manufacturers are planning for their spring summer 2026 laptops. They probably have not even been hitting the production line yet, or if they are, it's very early on. So they don't really know exactly what the pricing is going to be that they need to charge once we get to the actual release date for those devices. Now we do also see that there is some uh, estimates here about the uh, DRAM SSD bill of materials increase uh, at the bottom of this chart. So that means basically how much does it cost to make the laptop by the end of the third quarter of 2026. And you can see pretty consistently across low end to high end in that 20% to maybe 25% range. It is actually 20 to 23% on this chart. And uh, that is a pretty substantial uh, increase in the bow materials. It's always possible the AI bubble was this burst and then the uh, demand will go down. But at this moment, demand is definitely very, very high. And if that continues, then we're definitely gonna see these increases in pricing. Now, speaking of increases in pricing, uh, I wanted to talk about something that was also making the news very, very recently. This is kind of breaking news. Now, this was all started by a post on X by Vadim Yuryev, uh, who runs the Max Tech or partially runs the Max Tech YouTube channel. Just to be clear, he's a really great guy, great channel. I've actually met him in person at uh, events in the past, but uh, this particular post was maybe uh, not quite on the mark. So looking at this post, basically he identified a RAM configuration for an XPS 13 with the Snapdragon chip that was seeing a price increase of $550 from 16 to 32 gigabytes. Now his channel mostly covers Apple and he saw this as being, you know, an advantage for Apple because they have historically had very high RAM pricing but you know, you can imagine that if Apple is able to resist pricing pressure a little bit better than like Dell, maybe due to their volumes or their better contract terms, this could turn out well for Apple. However, let's not set off the alarm bells quite yet because it turns out this was not really uh, quite accurate. In fact, there is a post, uh, an, a note to this post about how actually this is what's an extreme case 
It was due to the specific configurations here and some other changes in the configuration that happened in a variety of other laptops are not charging that much, uh, as such as the Dell 14 Premium and the 16 Premium. In case you don't know, the Dell XPS 13 is kind of, I would say it's an outgoing model. It's not really their main thing anymore. And so the Dell 14 would really be, if you want to buy a portable Dell Premium laptop right now, the Dell 14 Premium is actually the one that you would be looking at. And just to show you, I have brought up a Dell 14 premium right here and we can start off with a configuration with 16 gigabytes for a thousand dollars we hit that 32 gigabyte button and we go up two hundred dollars which you know is a fair bit of money but it's not the you know 500 550 dollars that was suggested by that post now uh this did cause some discussion because a framework piped in as a reply to this post saying that their upgrade from 16 to 32 gigabytes of RAM right now is 80 bucks, which is very affordable. Uh, however, they are going to have to increase their memory pricing soon, but they won't use it as an excuse to gouge customers, they say. Now, how much of a price increase framework will have to uh, implement, they don't say, and we really have to guess at this point. I think once again, Probably framework itself doesn't know, but they are going to have to increase their prices sometime soon. Now on the topic of extremely crazy uh, prices for RAM, however, th this uh, article got some, uh, some traction in the last few days, and this is about a new 256 gigabyte DDR5 memory kit at the price of an NVIDIA RTX 5090. This is from Asgard, which I hadn't heard of as a memory uh, manufacturer before. I don't really know anything about them. They're apparently based out of China, which, you know, a lot of memory manufacturers are based out of China, Taiwan, or South Korea. It does look like, I, I don't know, premium memory. Uh, the look of it is kind of a luxurious memory product. However, of course, that much money for 256, even 256 gigabytes of RAM, which is a lot, that is a very high price. And it just goes to show how much memory prices have increased recently and how if you want to have a large amount of memory in your system right now it's become very very unaffordable and the final bit of news i wanted to end on was a quick thing from sherwood news quick but important it says micron rises on price target boost positive signs for overseas memory chip pricing basically this is saying that uh, the prices for memory are going up due to the demand and analysts are boosting the price target for the stock micron as you might uh, remember they recently announced that they are discontinuing their consumer line crucial which you can still buy some crucial products right now but as of i think it was february next year they will be fully discontinued so micron is going all in on the enterprise market and the stock analysts seem to be thinking this is a very good idea which if they are selling out of their memory supplies which seems to be what they're implying by the maneuver to get rid of crucial i guess it is a good idea for micron but probably not such a good idea for us now i also want to end off each one of these videos i do with a little bit of price tracking information so to start off with, we're going to be looking at this G-Skill Ripjaws VDDR4 RAM kit, 16 gigabytes. If you have an older system, this sort of RAM kit would be something that you would be looking at. We go over to the price tracker, and again, I'm going to move myself here so that you can see the price. Um, you can see this was, uh, you know, in the distant past in 2018, much more expensive, but recently had dropped to very, very low pricing, uh, under $50, it looks like, but is now up to $104.99. This is for 16 gigabytes of DDR4 memory. So not a particularly impressive memory kit. Now going over to DDR5, we have some G-Skill DDR5 memory that is 32 gigabyte kit. So two sticks, 16 gigabytes each. And this is quite expensive at 350 bucks. And if we go over to the Amazon price tracker, we can see this has pretty much been a complete up into the right sort of scenario. Uh, it used to be as recently as what? It looks like mid-September, we were at 90 bucks for this kit. And uh, the lowest ever was $89.99. So, that, I mean, it's pretty much a lowest ever price. It was available for around then. And now we're up to $349.99. And this so far has not peaked. <laughs> it's just been going up and up and up. And we'll just have to see if we hit any sort of uh, <laughs> limit on how high pricing can go. Now, so far, as far as laptops, generally speaking, you know, uh, even video cards, uh, components like that, not really seeing a lot of big price increases there yet. As I mentioned, it looks like those price increases, according to like Dell and Nova and HP, will be coming either maybe late December in the case of Dell or into early next year. 
but they, they are likely around the corner and I am going to continue to put out some of these videos going to be keeping tabs on this for you to just see where pricing goes because if it is going to be as serious of a thing as it seems like it could be uh, we could be in for quite a wild ride anyway that's it for me for today thanks for watching I'll see you next time